Uh, hey everyone, this is Fayaz and I created Super SaaS and I'm really excited to share that the version 2 of Super SaaS is finally getting released. Uh, for those of you who don't know, basically Super SaaS is a full stack startup kit made with Nux3, Drizzle ORM and Tailwind CSS. Um, I initially had a bare minimum version made a couple of months ago and I actually used it on production with a lot of clients. Uh, learned a lot of mistakes, the shortcomings and I rewrote it from scratch and made it better. I actually even purchased a few um, other boilerplates on the market to know like what's happening and I took the best parts from them and enhanced the areas that needed improvement. So, so once you purchase a license to SuperSAS, you get access to the GitHub repository, which you can just clone on your machine. And you can see that it's a typically Nux3 application. You have access to the pages folder where all your front end stuff lives. You have access to the server where you get the APIs, uh, database connections, schema. Uh, you have all these services, etc. And as you can see, the folders are appropriately named so that it's very easy to understand as soon as you look at the file name. For example, each module in the application has its own queries file. You can see, and you, so basically like typical uh, backend stuff, you have access to the utilities and validations to work with the APIs. And uh, so that's the gist. Let's see a live demo of the application. Super SaaS is runtime agnostic, which means you can host it anywhere on Cloudflare pages, Vercel, or even a $5 VPS you purchase on DigitalOcean. So once it's live, you get this simple landing page uh, with an option for users to enter their email for some sort of waitlist. It works. Uh, once a user enters it, it goes to the admin panel, uh, which you'll get to see later. Uh, so let's see the authentication pages. So Super SaaS has a lot of auth options. You get magic link, you get one-time password, email password, social logins like GitHub, Google, and even task keys is something which I'm very excited about. So the template is built on top of Nuxt auth utils, a lightweight authentication library made by Sebastian, the author of Nuxt3. So let's go ahead and create an account. So I'll choose passkey. I'll enter my name and email. I'll be prompted to enter your fingerprint or face ID based on the device you're using. So let me do that. So accounts created with passkeys and social logins don't need to be verified. So if you had used email password or magic link, uh, you won't be allowed to log in unless you verify your email ID. Uh, we'll get to that as well. So you'll be landed on this demo page, uh, which you can obviously delete. And then there's demo page for posts. It's an example to showcase how subscriptions work. So let me quickly show you. You can say you are on a free account and you have not yet subscribed to any plan yet. So you can create one post and if you try to create another one, you won't be allowed to unless you are on a paid plan. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So I'll go to settings and billing. So depending on what payment provider you're using, either Stripe or Lemon Squeezy, the product which you have added over there will show up over here. So I have added a bunch of demo products and let's sign up to this plan and enter the famous Stripe card and let's put some address. So I have the Stripe webhook set up on my Stripe dashboard. Um, you can see how you can do 
it on the docs of super sas so yeah if everything goes well you'll be subscribed to the plan you selected and you can even manage your billing uh, update payment info cancel subscriptions and so be these are basically stripes deep links so if i want to like update my payment information yeah you can the users can do that so now that i'm subscribed to a plan let's head back to the posts page and create another one yep you will be able to create as many posts as you want now that you're on a paid plan and then there's a demo for image gallery uh since i'm using next hub um uh, it provides me access to the hub blob composable uh, super sas will work with aws s3 um, or if you are old school you want to use local file system you can use that as well so yeah let me quickly show you how it works just upload and the files will show up here yeah and then i have the settings page you can update your name you can add an avatar let's keep this one and it gets updated in real time and users can update their passwords from the settings and delete pass keys as well if you have used and in in case you have used a social account uh, and they'll show up here as well which you can unlink let's do that quickly and log in with the same email id if the email id matches your account gets linked so yeah i get signed into the same account and you can see that i am now linked to my google so that's the settings page uh there's dark mode obviously and now let's do let's see how the admin panel works so in order to make a user admin you'll have to head to your database and change the user and find out which email and just edit it to admin and save yeah now that it's updated let's sign out so that the session gets updated and login back so if you are an admin you will see this new option for entering into the super admin mode so this is where things get interesting you will be able to send the user password reset link or login links or you can even ban users so if in case a user is banned they won't be able to log in and you can even delete the users and you also have the waitlist so the users which had logged in over there uh, so, uh, so so you, you even get the waitlist so the users who had signed up on the home page you can find them in the records over here then there's also transactions this was something i needed personally so all of my stripe transactions will be shown over here don't worry these are test records so yeah that's the demo of super sas